Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Clackamas River Chinooks! We are now finishing our third week of school and we are so excited to bring you the news this morning. We've got some exciting things coming up. Super exciting news. Okay, just a reminder to be looking for the invite for our read days, which are our fantastic Fridays. Our first fantastic Friday is gonna be the 23rd of September. So be on the lookout for that first invite, which will be coming on 916. So September 16th, you'll get that invite for Fantastic Fridays. Yeah, and one reason it's so important is because in your invitation, there is a list of activities that you can do. Um, and your parent will need to let us know which one you wanna do so we can get you signed up. So look for that email. If you don't get invited this week, there's always opportunities in the future for that. So we are looking to give students what they need. Um, your teachers will be figuring that out for you and we will be sending out those invites tomorrow. And then also, Miss Anderson, we have the Jogathon approaching. All right, we're gonna get this in before the rain comes again. Um, Jogathon is going to be on the 29th. So look for in your Monday folder some more information about that to give to your parents so you can do some fundraising. And then last week we told you about Picture Day. Just a reminder again, Picture Day is approaching, which is October 3rd. So be ready, practicing those smiles for Picture Day. And as a small coincidence, that's also the start of Spirit Week. Woo! So our first day of Spirit Week is going to be a fancy day. So wear your best. Not only will you look great for Picture Day, but you'll be all prepped for the first day of our Spirit Week. That's going to be a great time. All right, Miss Anderson, we have been in school for three weeks now, and we have been practicing those expectations and agreements, and we're looking for that golden plunger and that golden tray, and it has been rewarded our fourth and fifth grade girls for the golden plunger. Way to go, girls. Keep up that hard work. Yeah, nice job, girls. And you know what? I actually saw some fifth grade girls that were in there helping younger kids during recess. So. Thank you for working hard to keep your bathroom clean and for making sure that visitors know what's expected when they are in the fourth and fifth grade bathroom. Awesome. And then we have the golden tray. First grade took the golden tray this week and it's the first time that we're handing out the golden tray. So well done first grade. Keep up that role model work. Awesome. Well, and some of you may have noticed that in your classrooms, you've been creating your hopes and dreams and then tying those into your expectations of how you're gonna meet those. Mr. Wolf has been meeting with you guys throughout the week. Can you tell us a little more about that? Oh my goodness, what an incredible group of students that I've been able to work with, kinder through our fifth graders. Just great leaders and role models doing the right thing when nobody's looking. So we've been working together, developing grade level expectations and we are super excited because on September 15th, we are taking six students down to the district office and we are gonna make school-wide agreements and expectations. That is the voice of our students. Every single student has had some part in developing these expectations for our school-wide. So we will be really excited for the 22nd because we will be having our school-wide in-person assembly and we will be able to recognize all of that hard work and we will be able to look at what are our school-wide expectations with the student voice. Great job, Chinooks. Thank you for being a part of something much bigger than just your own self and your own classroom. Amazing. Okay, we've got some birthdays to celebrate. Birthdays! Happy birthday to you. Okay, one thing we are going to add in this year is we are going to look at student birthdays, but we also want to let you know when the staff around you is celebrating a birthday. So I have Mr. Wolf on My the birthday. 15th. His birthday. Kind of a big day. Uh, Miss W is also celebrating a birthday. And then Miss Gupton, who is our new speech and language pathologist. So if you see these people, Miss W and Miss Gupton are on the 17th and Mr. Wolf is on the 15th. Make sure you say a big happy birthday. We love birthdays. And talking about birthdays, let's do these student birthdays. Here we go. 
We have Ezra in Holsey's classroom, Isabel in O'Connor's classroom, Miles in Rutherford's classroom, Brett in Wood's classroom, we have Hunter in Clayton's classroom, Noah in Freeze's classroom, Riley in O'Connor, Addison in Wood, Chase in Rutherford, Colby in Sherman, Avery in Hill, Jesse in Clayton, Aiden in Holsey, and we have Riley in Wood. Happy, happy birthday. happy birthday to you all. All right, lots of birthdays again this week. That's super exciting. We hope you all have the best day ever. Okay, trivia. Trivia time. All right, let's see who we got. All right, it looks like Miss Mara from Miss Oberg's class. She did a great job of finding that pattern. We have a circle rectangle, and then she even took the time to write, I love this school. We do too. Thanks, Mara. And we also have Alex from Sherman's room. He finished the pattern. Nice work, Alex. Come on down and collect those prizes. We're so proud of you. All right, for our upper grades. All right. Okay. This was really interesting, Miss Anderson. Students had to solve a problem, a story problem. And we have Jaden from Miss Wood's class. Not only did he give us the answer, but he showed us how to solve it. Great work with your pictures. We love seeing exactly what you're thinking when you're solving the problem. And then we also have Haley from Miss Brown's classroom. The thing that I loved about this one is that she labeled her answer. What were we talking about? 22 pencils. And Miss Anderson and I are actually gonna show you how to solve that problem as well. So stay tuned. Hello Chinooks, this is Mr. Wolf and Miss Anderson. We are here and we're helping you solve that problem from trivia last week. So the question was, Ashton had two boxes with 14 pencils in each box. He gave six pencils to his brother. How many pencils did Ashton have left? Now we know that a lot of students gave us some great answers and showed us how they solved that problem. I wanna review really quickly what are some key pieces to look for in story problems. So Ashton had two boxes. That's super important. Two boxes. Okay, so here's a box and Here's a box. All right, inside that box, Ashton had 14 pencils. That's also really important. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, there's 14 pencils in one box. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There's another group of 10. One, two, three, four. 14. So what's 14 plus 14? Well, I can add all those up together to give me my answer right here. So I have five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I have a total of 28 pencils here, okay? All right, so now I figured out how many total pencils we have, or how many pencils Ashton has. Let's read the next part. He gave six pencils to his brother. Ooh, that's important. He gave, gave is really important. That's telling me he gave those away. We need to subtract that. Six pencils to his brother. So Ashton has 28 pencils. His brother right now has zero, because he doesn't give any away. Here's brother. Okay, 
So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take some of those away. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Now, brother has six of those pencils right here. So here's the question. How many pencils did Ashton have left? Well, let's count and see how many pencils he still has in his boxes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. He has 22 pencils left. And my label is pencils, 22 pencils. That's important too to label our answer so we know what we're talking about. So if I look at our ending question, how many pencils did Ashton have left? My answer is 22 pencils. And be on the lookout for today's new trivia question about our story problem. Hello Chinooks, let's look at our pattern for this week that you solved and turned in. We're gonna review our answer right here, right now. Okay, so the pattern for last week's trivia was circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle, circle, rectangle. What are our missing pieces? And students did a great job. Let's solve this really quick. We are gonna have another circle. Say it with me, circle. What comes next? Rectangle. Nice job, Chinook, solving that. We can see that pattern. Okay, let's have a super day. All right, and Mr. Wolf, when I was looking through all of those, I noticed one thing seemed to happen a lot of times. It was like we solved for part of the problem, we didn't take the time to go back and read the problem again. So we had some kids who took one box of pencils and subtracted from it. And we had some kids who just added the box of pencils together and then didn't subtract at all. So when you are doing these tricky problems, you gotta make sure that you take the time and look for the details. Go ahead, we'll try it again this week with this week's trivia. All right. All right, Miss Anderson, here's this week's trivia. Clementine and Jake make cookies for the school bake sale. Clementine baked 72 cookies. Jake baked twice as many as Clementine. How many cookies did they bake all together? Mm, now keywords. check out, yeah, there's lots of keywords. I actually have printed off a sheet for all the teachers to have. There's a place to show your work and also a place to put your answers and to label your answers. What are we talking about? We're talking about cookies. One of my favorites. All right, and then our other trivia question, just like last week, we have a new pattern. Okay, this week's pattern is circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle. What are the next two shapes that come? All right, you tell us and we'll pull out your answers and see if we can get some more winners next week. And before we say goodbye, the next thing we need to do is stand, put your hand over your heart and be ready for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Chinooks, what an amazing week. We're so proud of everybody and everybody's hard work. We want to remind you next week, we will be in a live school assembly. So you will not have a video next week, okay? We will be seeing you in the gym, ready to celebrate. Have a great week, Chinooks.